WWE 2K24 just released patch 1.09 and the WrestleMania 40 arena if you did buy the 40 years of WrestleMania edition of WWE 2K24. And guess what? It is very insulting to fans. It's broken and 2K doesn't know what they're doing. I mean, they do know that WrestleMania happened in Philadelphia, right? We got so much to talk about. I have so much footage to show you. I can't wait to share it with you. And I'm a little upset today because I paid money for trash and that doesn't work for me, brother. Hit my music. Right now on Beach Live. This is your first time on the channel. Hey. How's it going? We cover everything in this beautiful wrestling world, including when 2K puts out bad patches and gives us stuff that doesn't work and I had to pay money for it, but you want a refund, but that ain't happening. But we are going to show you all the things that actually do work in this patch. Of course, we got some awesome things to talk about. I want to go ahead and address the WrestleMania 40 arena because I found some things out and as you can see here it looks absolutely gorgeous on the surface of it we have the WrestleMania 40 arena that is in of course at the link in Philadelphia but 2k thinks that it's in Las Vegas and that's very telling of what's coming down the road and we'll get to that in a little bit but they also gave us a day and night version of this arena, and it looks spectacular. you got a day arena, you got the night arena, the lighting, everything works. And it looks good when you're playing in matches. But then when you scale back a little bit, you realize that this thing is as half-baked as I've ever seen. The arena came out 60 days after WrestleMania 40 to the day, and it's really telling that on one hand, 2K lies to us saying we can't get stuff in. And on the other hand, it shows that they can't do it really well when their backs are against the wall. Because you did this in 60 days. On one hand, very impressive. On the other hand, someone should have stopped them and said, hey, it doesn't work. Why are we releasing it? Oh, it's fine. We'll just patch it in later and that also goes with what's going on with patch 1.09 is it is a half patch we are getting patch 1.10 to come out when the dlc drops next week and that will fix everything that 1.9 broke i don't understand why they did this comment down below did you even get the 40 years of wrestlemania edition or are you waiting I was really excited about this. This is the first time we've ever had a WrestleMania arena in the current year. And I thought 2K could pull it off because this year's game has been leaps and bounds ahead of the previous years. It's great. And I thought I, they could pull it off and they didn't. So the WrestleMania arena in its current state is that it does work. The daytime arena works fine. But when you go to the nighttime arena, there's a couple weird things with it. It is not available in custom show to fix or use. So that means you can't use the night version in universe mode. Well, that's the whole point is I want to update my universe mode so that I can have a more up-to-date WrestleMania. But you cannot do that. You can use the day mode in universe. You cannot use the night mode in universe. Also, all of the banners and all of your bells and whistles and stuff that works on the day arena, it does not work on the night arena. So it's a half-baked release. It's like I understand that you want to get it out because of deadline, but if you get order a hamburger and it's raw, aren't you going to send it back? Aren't you? Or are you going to eat it? Comment down below. Raw meat, one of your things? Because it's not mine. If the food's not right, you send it back. And we paid for this. It wasn't a free DLC. It wasn't, oh, I got it with a pack. No, I paid money for it. You can nickel and dime it all you want. And I received a half of it. So I would like my other half. I don't know about you, but I would like the full thing that I paid for. Hopefully in patch 10, they fix it. And of course, we will find out when we get to patch 10. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out when that drops next week. But we have some more to talk about with Patch 9. But before I get to it, all this talk about this WrestleMania arena has made me so mad. And you know, if you've been around here for a while, what happens when I get mad? I throw my controller. Revolutionize your experience with Hex Gaming Premium Custom Controllers. Use Code Beach to save at checkout. 
So patch 1.09 did come out and all it did was add some more persona cards because that's what we need in our life is we need more persona cards this time it added two it added becky lynch from 2017 or 18 comment down below what year you think it is becky's models have been the same she had that three-year stretch where she just changed the color of her outfit so let me know which one you think they're gonna end up putting on it and then the second one is chad gable which is a very interesting choice because they gave us Chad Gable, the American Alpha version, which is cool if you like his towel waving personality. Thank you. Ain't this something? But where's Jason Jordan? Where's the why? Why can't we have American Alpha? Why do I get one half of the tag team and not the other half of the tag team? This will, of course, be available as a Persona card, but it's not patched in yet. Just like I said, 1.09 was a land patch that will actually has points in it that will actually work when patch 10 works. They are not available at this time, and they're not even completed models. However, if you don't want to spend the money or go through the grind to get those Persona cards, if you go online, of course, Witty Witterson and What's the Status have already uploaded the models. If you're watching this right now, go download them before 2K takes them off the site because they've done that the last couple times with Persona cards. Overall, this patch was a step for another patch next week, which is great. Unfortunately, I'm really disappointed with the WrestleMania arena. And the fact that it's in Vegas is amazing to me because, I mean, this is 2K. You have GTA assets. Why in the world? Did we have the same building everywhere in Las Vegas? And that circles us back around that the authenticity of this thing is horrible. I see everywhere that it looks great. The lighting looks good, yes. But this is not Lincoln Financial Field. This is not Philadelphia. This is Las Vegas. And I get that you don't own the rights to the names and you can call it whatever you want. But WrestleMania 39 was at SoFi Stadium. It looks like SoFi Stadium. Night of Champions is at the Jetta Superdome. It looks like the Jetta Superdome. Why in the world is it in Las Vegas? Is because next year's WrestleMania is in Las Vegas. And so that tells me with them already starting work on 2K25, place your bets now if the WrestleMania 41 arena will be in this exact same spot because 2K is great at moving assets over. But that that gives you a full overview of what we got in the patch. And if you're looking at the arena, that's what you're getting. Hopefully they'll patch and fix it. But they still haven't p fixed the golden title that was in the WrestleMania pack. And it also needs patching as well. Comment down below what you guys think about this. Does this even register on your radar? And if you're looking to find out what edition to buy or if you didn't know what all comes in that WrestleMania pack, check out that video right there. And if you're still hanging with me, can you hit that like button for me? It just sends it out so more people can see it and it would really help me out a lot. Remember, make life your beach and we'll see you on the next video.